It's Billy's Vlogs. Morning guys, it is about 20 minutes to 8 o'clock and I am off for my cycle. First of March. Let's begin. Time to be healthier. I am back, well, I'm actually not back yet, I'm down in the park. I decided to jump off the bike for a minute and just walk. I don't mind the hair, like, so I didn't like. I only did about three or four kilometres, so that's where I was starting off. I didn't know the distance, but I found out there that it's about two point, sorry, it's about 2.2 kilometres, so 2.2 there and 2.2 back, but I didn't actually go go the the usual way and I didn't go there and then right back I kind of did like a circle so I don't know how far it would be so I'd say it'd be just over like three or four kilometers so yeah I'm down in the park for a nice peaceful walk as you can probably see um, I'm just gonna walk straight out but I might get a clip or two um, of the beautiful scenery. No Gigi with us, to, well, with me today because she's in heat. I'd love to bring her for a walk, but I'd say she'd be in heat for about another week. This is the stage where she can get caught, so. Anyways, I'll stop you up and see you guys later. Bye. I did that 2.5 or 3 miles, not miles, kilometres, in the space of like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. But tomorrow, what I might do is, I might, um, I might go down the Clara Road because I know that that's 5 kilometres, no, 4.5. So if I do 4.5 there and literally stop and turn around and come back, then I would have did 8.5, no, 9, 8.5, 9 kilometers. So and that was done in, in the, the same space of time. So that's why I can understand the same space of time it took me to do this cycle, took me the, to do not nine kilometers, that takes about half an hour. So yeah, I suppose. Okay guys, I need to put this hat in my pocket and hold the bike properly because my hand is gonna break. Oh, it's better, a lot better. Beautiful park and my ugly sweaty face. Anyways guys, talk to you later again. I'm back home about 20 minutes now. It's well, maybe an hour. <laughs> it's quarter mi quarter minutes, 15 minutes to nine o'clock, and I have my breakfast on. Just this morning, I'm having three boiled eggs with cracker bread. Cracker bread. What's wrong with my vocals? 
Oh my god, because oh I can't even speak this morning. Anyways guys, yeah. Three boiled eggs. One, two, three. And do this stuff in my leg. And th probably three pieces of cracker bread. You're so beautiful. And my other part of breakfast is to wash these dishes. Would you call that breakfast? Or would you call that torture? I don't mind anyways. So, yeah. That's what I'm having for breakfast. This lovely Wednesday, Lent. 1st of March, 29 days to my birthday. Well, by the time you're watching this, it'll be the 2nd of March. And it will be a Thursday. And it will be 28 days to my birthday. 21, guys. She's just getting even excited for me. Aren't you, boo boo? She's excited. Who's so excited for Mammy's birthday? You. You are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. 25. Sorry. Now, the time is currently 25 minutes until... Um, 25 minutes past uh, 10. So, because I'm kind of ahead of myself this morning, I'm going to try and make lunch right away. So, what do you have? I know we have pasta, so I can't have bread. Sorry, Gigi. I can't have bread. Ooh, this is good lighting. <laughs> no bread. We've got pasta. So, I'm going to make pasta. But I don't know what I'm going to have with it. Um, and I don't think we've got any tuna. I'm going to have a look guys. And I shall be back momentarily. Momentarily. Okay. So I found out we do not have tuna. So I'm going to have pasta. Penne. And some tomato passata. Some puree and a salad with lettuce and olives with paprika paste. Sounds nice. And some feta cheese in the salad. Um basically yeah, that's it. So that's for my lunch. And then for dinner later we're having because today is Ash Wednesday. We're not allowed to have meat. So for dinner we're having omelette and homemade um, chips which is made, made with um, potatoes. Just ordinary potatoes. Just chop, clean them off, chop them in half, chop them in quarters, chop them in eighths. And put some of the one calorie cooking spray on top of them which is this olive oil one and it's just one calorie spray and season them with salt and pepper and other spices if it suits your fancy so that's what we're having for dinner so what I might do is I might prep the potatoes and um, I can't prep an omelette because it only takes like two seconds so I'm going to prep the potatoes and I'm going to leave them steeping in cold water for the day until um, I put them in the oven later and then tomorrow we're back on meat again on Thursday which is chili con carne mm. so I look forward to that so it's not too hard for me at the moment off the bread it's probably gonna hit me later when I really want to I got cut off there guys um phone literally went dead I'm trying to fix it the dog anyways guys um i found out we had other <coughs> olives in the fridge so i'm using the black olives instead because they are open and there's no point opening another packet um when there's a packet open it to me is a bit of a waste um the water is on boiling now. I'm just putting some feta cheese in now. This won't be too much. Yeah. Some back in there. 
close it all up. Now the worst I find about feta cheese, first it sticks to your hands. Secondly, it is very watery, so I have to put it into a bag to um, keep it from spilling all over the fridge. So I'm literally just putting it into a lunch bag. This way first. And fold here. Fold here. And it's perfectly neat to put into the fridge. Hmm. Something smells funny. I think it might be the olives. If I die today, guys, I'm so sorry. This would be my last vlog. I know I'm only joking. Oh yeah, and I burnt my finger. You probably can't see it that much on the stove. It's turned into a little blister. Anyways, guys. is the finished salad i know it doesn't not look like much but it is just black pepper black peppers where do you get black peppers from black olives lettuce and feta cheese it is beautiful now i better go stir this before it pop pops off over the pot okay guys you know i'm really determined when I'm on to lunch number two for tomorrow. Now I know I'm not allowed meat today, but for tomorrow you're allowed to have meat. So I'm making um, rashers um, cut into little pieces. They're medallion rashers so they don't have fat. Well, it's not that they don't have fat on them. Oops. Spoon to the floor, you need to wash it under the sink. Um, it's not that the medallion rashers don't have don't have fat on them. It's just the fact that they don't have as much fat as a normal rasher. So they're called medallion rashers. So you know I'm really determined when I'm making lunch for tomorrow also. So while these are cooking away, I'm going to start on today's dinner which is potato um, potato chips, as in chips, french fries, in the healthiest way possible, with less fat, loads of carbs, but less fat. Um, so we'll see how this works out for me, guys. Now, I have, been e I have been doing good, like, without the bread so far. I'm cooking, I don't even feel hungry. But, the best thing about it is, if you prepare yourself then you won't feel the pressure oh my jeebs I need bread now or I need a sandwich I have lunch prepared even for tomorrow because I'm in my grandmother's tomorrow so basically I need to have everything prepped because I'll put it in the fridge tomorrow and then when I go up to my grandmother's I shall um, just heat it up after she goes into bed for her little nap. So yeah, um, for breakfast this morning, I had three boiled eggs and three slices of the cracker bread, which is not a bread. It is an alternative to bread. That's why they call it cracker bread. Um, and I showed you the packet, but I shall show you what they actually look like. So if you don't know what cracker bread is, this is what it looks like. It's called crisp bread or cracker bread, either or. On the packet it says crisp bread but on the branded ones it says cracker bread so it basically is a soft it's not really soft but it's 
kind of a flimsier cracker breaks very easily and it is absolutely delicious with egg fried egg poached egg i would recommend poached egg with it and um boiled egg i would recommend also um i've never tried scrambled scrambled egg with it but i would say scrambled egg with rashers and the crisp bread would be highly delicious healthy meal of the day and if you were in slimming world i'll just check the calorie count so if you know what Slim World is, Slim World is just a healthier lifestyle of eating. You can eat all the vegetables, all the meat, all the fruit and all the carbs you want. It's apart from bread, you're only allowed two slices of, two medium slices of wholemeal bread per day. Um, and then everything else you eat, you count it as sins, S-Y-N-S. You probably heard me rant about this before, but anyways, um, each... Um, Per 20 calories is one sin. So this per four slices of cracker bread or crisp bread is five um, sins and three quarters. So for four, four crisp bread per day is five sins, three quarters. Four guys, not just one, four. So if you divided that by four, don't ask me, I'll have to do calculations. I did the maths. I did the maths for the crisp bread. So, one crack crisp bread is 28.75 calories, which is 29 calories. Basically, just round it to the nearest 10, which will be 29 calories. So, as I said, 20 calories in Slimming World in per product or per produce, not product, um, is um one sin so 29 calories would be one and a half sins so per slice of crisp bread or cracker bread is one sin and a half and you get 15 for your day so basically i wouldn't say you could eat 15 of them but you could eat plenty anyways so i had three so one and a half multiplied by three is four and a half I'm nearly sure one two three sins one sin yeah so it's four and a half so I um, I've had four and a half sins already this morning and that was it you can have all the protein you want so the eggs are free also um, I'm just gonna lower everything down yeah so I'm gonna get onto the potatoes and peel them um, into little chippies and I shall show you what they look like afterwards These are the chips guys there's a lot here they're just basically little shapes like this. Skin's still left on, but I'm going to steep them. I have them washed. I'm going to steep them for another while, so a bit more dirt may come off. Now, I scrub them as much as I could. Sorry about my charger. Yeah, so that's the chips. Some of them had bruises on them, so some are weirdly shaped, like the likes of this one. Anyways, they're going into the bowl now and being steeped. And then I'm going to put my lunch for tomorrow all together in my lunch box. I already have a salad, sorry, a salad done for tomorrow also in the fridge ready to go for tomorrow. And yeah, I shall see you guys later. Guys, again, so the time is currently 10 minutes past 12. So 50 minutes until lunchtime because I'm starting just a small bit, starting to get hungry. Um, but at the moment, I'm having some lemon and warm water just to um kind of what's the word I can't think of the word ATM just as a slight detox and um for hydration purposes also and because I don't drink an awful lot of water during the day so um I'm gonna try and drink as much water as I can today so after this I'm gonna go in and get a glass of water um, at least at least 250 mils if not 500 mils I'm going to try and at least drink 2 litres of water a day now I know your body may need more but 2 litres is the minimum I think amount of water a day that you should have to hydrate your body so after this I'm going to go in and get a good glass of water 
and that might take the hunger off me until 1 p.m. Now I know my breakfast this morning was earlier than usual. I had my breakfast at um, nine o'clock. It was like two or three minutes past nine, but we'll say nine o'clock. And the time is currently now 10 minutes past 12. So that was three hours ago. Um, if I have uh, breakfast, if I had breakfast at nine, then have lunch at one, that would mean that it was a four hour break. So meaning I should have dinner at at least five. So that is a four hour break between every meal. And then uh, maybe have a snack, a light snack like an apple with peanut butter or maybe apple with yogurt or yogurt um, at seven, maybe around seven-ish. I know that's only a two hour break, but because I'm starting off only today, I've only started off today, um, I need a snack um, later on during the night. Uh, pe some people call it tea, um, some people call it a late snack, um, I just call it a snack. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try and not eat after 8 p.m. So I will eat, uh, sleep better and hopefully it will help me, you know, be more energized during the day. So yeah, that's the story at the moment. Um, I'm just currently watching TV. I have a pause at the minute because I was, editing this vlog um just editing the start of it because it was pretty long and the current time i have on my vlog is like 18 minutes this clip is almost going on to four minutes long now so um my vlog will be pretty long and i'm very sorry about that i apologize but if you enjoy me um doing longer vlogs let me know i had more time today I suppose to vlog um, because I was up earlier this morning now I didn't vlog me getting up because it was really early I got up at 7 a.m. Um, the dog was barking um, so I let her out and I let him out obviously as well little jock I let them both out at 7 a.m. I let them both back in at 7 10 a.m. and decided to go back into bed and when I got back into the bed, I decided to get back out of the bed and get dressed and go for my cycle as it was a beautiful morning. It was cold, but it was a beautiful morning. And that's when you seen um, my vlog saying that it was 20 minutes until 8, I think. Um, that's when I got dressed, got ready, bought the bike out and decided to cycle. Now, I'm not one for exercise, guys, and you probably know that from my vlogs. I'm a very laid-back person. I don't do an awful lot of things during the days that I'm not in my grandmother's. But I am determined to have a healthier lifestyle, not just to lose weight. This isn't about dieting, guys. This isn't about losing weight. This isn't about feeling fat. This isn't about feeling skinny or wanting to be skinny. This is about a healthier lifestyle. And Lent was my best excuse to go out and do it. Now, I'm not saying people you all should do it. But if you are going to do this with me, guys, let me know. And I will back you up 100%. And if I'm slacking, guys, please just comment down below get your boot out there get out and do some exercise Ooh, my voice get some exercise um i'm not going to do this every day um because i know what happens to me is i get pure excited the first week or the first day and i do everything and the second day i do everything third day do it again Fourth day, I'm starting to feel a bit lazy. Fifth day, I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling depressed. Why am I not getting out? Why did I not exercise yesterday? So what I'm doing is 
doing as much as I can per day. So tomorrow, as I said, I may go out and cycle again. All depending on the weather, guys. So if I don't cycle in the morning or go for a walk in the morning, I am um, determined to get out there um, and do something. So it may be in the house. I may do an exercise um, thing in the house from YouTube or I may may just walk in, walk up to my grandmother's instead of getting a lift or cycle up to my grandmother's instead of getting a lift. So that's what I might do. Sorry this clip is so long guys. I'm just very chatty today because I'm in very good form. So yeah, currently having my lemon and water. It's starting to get a bit cold now so I better finish it. I'm going to go in and get a glass of water and finish off this program. Yeah, so the time is currently 20 minutes past 12. Well, 18. But anyways, see you later. Bye! My lunch, guys. Pasta with some parmesan, some lettuce, as we see in my salad. Lettuce, black olives, and some feta cheese. Yum! Let's dig in. Somebody wants to uh, get up on the couch. There she. You looking out the window? You want to go up, don't you? To look out the window. Hmm? She's ignoring me now. Hey. Sorry about the bad lighting guys in here. Yep. She's just staring out the window. Waiting for Mama to get home. Aren't you, boo? And she's ignoring me again. GG. Oh, you heard that? You okay? Hmm? The camera's getting in the way. No, nope. they're off again. I think someone has finally given up. She's turned her back on me. Literally. Currently watching Joe Sugg's vlog. If you wanted to know how they turned out, I'm not gonna get a bit more better lighting. Yeah, so these are the chips. I actually overloaded, I made way too much, got an omelette on the go, and yeah, this is the dinner for this evening. I'm not going to drag it out too long today because the vlog is already way too long. Um, yeah, so if you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe. We are up to 60 subscribers at the moment, so we have 40 to go until... Drum roll, please. The giveaway. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep that a, su uh, a surprise until we hit 75 subscribers. Or maybe 80. Yeah, so if you like this video, guys, as I said already, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget I love you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys. Bye.